if you want to edit like the locomotion system in the scene, you need to open it for the whole scene. And usually it's under the controllers. There's uh, locomotion modules. So let's just narrow, narrow down to the controllers. And here you'll we'll find that there are the three locomotion systems in this world. So that's for example the 0G. And let's say I want to enable, if I enable 0G now, I can only move around, but I cannot, I cannot rotate around arbitrary axis. So if I want to enable this, I go here. There's the three axis rotation on the turn submodule under the physical locomotion. So I enable this. However, uh, there's still a problem with this. Like this is this is only a template. This is like what gets put on your respond users. So if you if you change this, it doesn't affect all respond users. So what you need to do, you need to go to controllers. And there's a button update locomotion modules on present users. And this will essentially reinstall the locomotion modules on everyone. And now <laughs> Okay. So, I've also added some more changes to this locomotion system. I've also added I've also added some more changes to this locomotion system. If you press your right joystick or touchpad, you will slow down. So there's a property for air acceleration. And if you press the left, it'll orientate yep. you. Yep, it'll orient you over the ground. And also, like, if you, if you switch, like uh, I switch to fly, I switch to walk run, the walk run, it automatically orients you with the gravity. So if, if you are rotated and you, got, you might have like gotten rotated in any any possible way, then you essentially you get auto oriented back. So you don't end up like uh, you can also disable it if you don't want it. But this is cool. Try enabling fine. try enabling the physical locomotion now. Uh, like the walk around. This is good. Oh, no. <laughs> I kinda want to see what it looks like. So I had Oh, okay, hold on. Well, see, and I didn't die. <laughs> so it auto orients you. It's also useful for actually other things because now I've I've made some addition. So I go, <coughs> I go to the zero G. Interesting. Uh... And you see, there's um, there's grip rotation mode, and there's actually grip grip hand rotation mode and grip object rotation mode. So essentially, this hey. is how your rotation changes either based on your hand, like rotating your hand, or rotating of the object you are gripping. So for example, you can enable it, you can enable it to, so only objects rotate you, but like you don't rotate yourself, or you can set it uh, for hand as well. So vertical only will rotate you only around your vertical axis, whereas any will rotate you around arbitrary axis. So let me, let me enable this, update locomotion modules. And now you can rotate your okay. Whoa. 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 <laughs> so you see? <laughs> you gotta add like a delay to that, I think maybe. Or... I think that would oh, make it wow. worse. Okay. Uh... I, I see I I see what you're talking about here. Yeah. This is uh Whoa. this is this is interesting. Wow. Uh, yeah. It's, 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 you right, see what, um, this is not something that you're gonna want to give the first time VR yeah, users. Yeah, you see what, what, what it's off by default. Okay. So let me show you show you more things because I've added I've added oh, hold on. I'm I've trying added, to I've added teleporters. I've added do a flip uh, here. There we go. I've added fo force fields. I'll show you how to make a force field like a bouncy pad, for example. So let's just bouncy wait, pad. A trampoline. Yeah, a bouncy pad. Yeah, a trampoline. So let's make a basic shape. I'll just use this cube. I'll use this cube. Actually, or I can make, make a graph lift. Yep, graph lift as well. Yes. That's, that's what I've been playing with. Elevators. Okay. Okay. So now I have like this basic object that I want to make into a bounce pad. Yeah. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to open the inspector. Okay. So the important thing is you need a collider, which will like trigger. But uh, the collider, it needs to be configured as a trigger because trigger essentially Oh, it's not working yet. We can stop, pre stop pretending that it works. <laughs> I'm jumping on it anyways. Okay. <laughs> okay. So essentially, what you need to do, you need to make the box collider into a trigger. 
this will make it like send events. What's the like, trigger do? Trigger essentially makes it like okay. when it collides with a player, it essentially like sends sends events. And the system, it can do things based on those events. So for example, it can like when you collide, it, it'll get... Uh, <laughs> when, when you collide, it'll get um, an event and it can, for example, launch into the air. So now another thing, I need oh, to okay. attach object to the same same thing that I have the collider on. So I will attach a component. And there's the locomotion. And there's modules. And we have okay. no, wait, uh, interaction. So you see there's character force field. And essentially, the character force field, it does all kinds of uh, different interactions. Which uh, it can like um, oh, okay. have different modes. So if uh, you have the force, this is this is the force applied to the player. You have the way it's applied, so it can be applied as a constant force. So while the player is inside of the volume, this force will be applied every frame. There's impulse. So that's essentially only right. like when you collide it, it, it applies the impulse. It doesn't do anything else. So let's wait. There's uh, yeah. set velocity, which essentially sets the velocity, like it resets all your current velocity and just says it's a whatever number. There's set component. It's oh, okay. Similar... That'd be that'd be useful for like uh, making kinking or something, or maybe yes. the opposite. Yeah. There's also set component, yeah. which is similar to set velocity, but it only sets the component along the direction of the force we are applying. So, for example, if you are moving sideways and you you want to set vertical velocity. It will set the vertical velocity, ignoring any previous vertical velocity, but it'll keep your like horizontal velocity, for example. Uh, okay, essentially, it's something that you're just going to want to with. with. Uh, uh, and there's also yeah. constant velocity, which essentially, while while you are in the vo in the volume, it uh, it just makes you go at this velocity, so you cannot even like change it. And so, let's make it into bouncy pad. Bouncy pad that's essentially an impulse, so I will use an impulse. Uh, I need to make it go okay. along vertical. Vertical is Y. So let's set the vertical to 10, for example. To 8,000. Oh, OK. There we go. And if I switch to this, boink. Oh, I there we go. I didn't yep. jump. Boink. Just makes a jump. Boink. There we go. There's a thing with, uh, with impulse, though. Um, I found it like generally impulse. It's not. <gasps> it's not good for bouncy pad because the problem is it applies an impulse, but it doesn't cancel your previous velocity. So when you are falling down on it, when you're falling down, you essentially you have really, you have high downwards velocity, and essentially the impulse it, it only slows you down, but it doesn't launch you back up. So for for bouncy pad, I found it to better to actually use oh, the set component. So it preserves your like horizontal motion. But it launches you up, and when you fall on it, 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 it launches you again. So it just overrides any. Oh, I see. Goals. So let me show you how how you can transfer right. transform this into gravity lift, for example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this bigger. So let's extend the size. Let's make it actually pretty tall. I'm also going to change the material oh. so we can see it easier. Materials. Let me use this one. All right, I cannot change it directly. So let's so this is the material. There we go. So this will be our gravity lift. Whoa! And what do you want to change? You want to set the set it to constant. Uh, oh wow! Constant force. So now essentially it it is applying force while you are inside. Oh, nice. So it looks like it's it's Having actually like bounce. it's keeping me. It it's keeping me going at the same speed that I entered it in. Yes. Like. Yeah, it's only it's only yeah. changing. It's only like applying a force. So pretty much you have you, it, it preserves your previous velocity, but it it it, it changes uh, changes is like slightly by the force. But the, the thing like with with uh, with gravity lifts, uh, is. You, um, with the force, you, 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 like if the force is pretty weak, it uh, it doesn't change you fast enough. But if you make it really fast, it, it just. Whoa. 
I, it just launches I you. I think like you just little... launched Aegis into into deep space. <laughs> I did. I... Yes. So there's there's actually another dropping feet first. <laughs> so there's another Hi. another option which is pretty important, and that's the max force velocity. <laughs> that's essentially the maximum velocity. And there's oh, another sorry. there's another there's another property which is called the max force velocity, and it's essentially the maximum velocity that the force can develop. So like once once you once you reach this velocity, it won't uh, it won't like uh, accelerate here further. So when it's like this, I can enter. It doesn't launch me like too fast, but it still has pretty fast reaction. So like when I fall into this, it bounces me back up. So it's very quick, like to counter my downwards velocity, but it doesn't it doesn't launch me into into the deep space. Oh, what's the fun in that? Now I could make stress. actual traversable water. Yes. Oh man. Blink. Okay, so, that's cool. That's one of the options. And there's actually lots of more things that you can do with this. Like, it, like the force, it doesn't have to be even upwards. You can, you can, you can change it. Like, so, for example, you see, like this, this, this just pushes you to the side. Whoa. Oh man. Let's see what else is here. Uh, space. Try, try going against it. I'm climbing it. <laughs> okay. It's pushing out. Speed strats. Continue. Okay, so so there's uh, oh there's also another thing that the system supports. It's for example, you can also make it so it accelerates you along your current velocity. So there's another another option. It's, it is called force space, and it's essentially the space like the coordinate space. Coordinate space where this force is applied. So let me say back to this. Okay. Layman's so, terms. <laughs> essentially, the way it works, it essentially like if, if you have the force, the force is essentially like a direction, it's direction and like the length, like the how big the number is, is like how how strongly it sh it, it, it how strongly it okay. affects you, and it essentially determines like to which object or which coordinate system is this uh, this direction aligned to. So when it when it is at a uh, slope. I see. Then essentially it is aligned together with the object. So if, if for example, y is up, then whichever like orientation of the of the object of this object is, which whichever like direction is up for this object, that's the direction it'll that's the direction it'll apply the force to you. So I can change this. I can change this to character space. So essentially it, the force it'll be relative to your current ori orientation. So if I change this, then even if like, okay. you are for example sideways, then it'll it'll still accelerate accelerate you up. Relative to what your app currently is, so let me actually change to zero G. I see. So that would come in handy. Yeah, the the zero G thing would be a good way to demonstrate that. Oh, yes. oh that's kind of weird. So it's uh, it's sending it's lift it, mm. it's lifting me up. Like, oh wait, uh, oh wait, right. no, 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 this this wasn't. Yeah, correct. you said it to. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, no, no, wait. Oh, I see. No, no, this is no, this is different. This is your coordinate system, in which you are. Character space is the coordinate system in which we are parented. If you want to like the character, then there's character forward. So this this should make. Oh, I see. So if I fly Hold on, let me let me get back here. Yeah, yeah no, it works. <laughs> okay, hold, hold on, man. This zero G thing is is so hard to control. So, so now now when I am. <laughs> it's like if, I if I'm it. going too fast, I I just float around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now if I align myself, okay, but that down, works. It'll push. It'll push me against the floor. Okay, like let's give that a try. All right, that works beautifully. Yes. All right, so let me let me get back to uh, let me get there's back to normal. Option. Okay. So there's also character okay. velocity, and this is essentially your current velocity. So if, if I, for example, set this to forward, what will this do is that it will accelerate you around along your current direction. So whichever direction you are go going, it'll just it'll just accelerate you. It'll just amplify it. Yeah, it'll essentially amplify. But you can also do things like you can make it like so, so essentially. Yeah, it's like a speed boost. Oh, there we go. 
<laughs> Ouch. Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> that thing launched what? me. Yeah, don't, don't jump. It'll send you into space. <laughs> but it can fall. Wait, will it happen when I... <laughs> oh. Oh, it bounced, bounced off. Whoa. I wonder what happens so, if I'm so, going downwards. You fall faster. I Man. just did it. So this is an so okay. reverse grab left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oof. Essentially accelerates, like it takes your current acceleration, Oof. accelerates. But you can also do different things. You can, for example, say that whichever direction you are going, accelerates towards the left of whatever, whatever, like... So like this. To the left. To the left of your current like oh, velocity. All right, let's let's see. <laughs> what is see what this what does. Is <laughs> if you fall downward, it forces you into the collider. <laughs> or or like simulate. <laughs> I have one of those really different wind levels. <laughs> yes. You know. You can actually... It's it's super windy. Wait a minute, is it like of... spinning or something? Yeah, that's because your direction is changing, so like it's 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 pushing you like uh, along weirdly. It's pushing you along, yeah. It, it'll spin you around. And okay. There's also another thing, but here. let me show you. Let me show you with a different object. Ooh. Okay. So let me show you. Let me show you how to do do a, a, a radial force with this. So let's make a sphere. So this is a sphere. Okay, let's do the same process. So we need to change, we need to change the collider to a trigger. So let's change it to a trigger, and let's attach the same component again. So cool. Locomotion interaction character force field, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the force space to a radial, and there's radial constant and radial proportional. A radial constant, it applies, it doesn't change the intensity of the force. Uh, it just like ch changes the direction based on the origin. So like uh, the force, the force is essentially along the direction from the center of the object. A radial proportional makes the force weaker the further you are from the center. Oh. Mm -hmm. So let's put this here. There we go. So what All I'm right. going to do, I'm going to change it to impulse. <laughs> Another important thing to note, like with the radial, is that essentially this this changes the coordinate of the force. So you need to know that uh, x is right, y is up, and z is forward. And essentially, coordinate space. If you want it to like go from the center, you need to set the forward forward component of the vector to make it launch you like from the center. So now it is configured for impulse and radial constant. And now if you jump on it, it will essentially bounce you off. Bounce you off along the along the direction. So depending on how you approach it, it'll bounce you off. Oh, I see. And everything else still holds. So you can make it like apply constant force. You can make it apply. You can set the velocity. You can apply the component. So all of the other properties are the same. It just changes like the direction Got of it. the force. So. You can even do like a cool thing. Let me actually show you something cool that you can make with this. If you if you make um, if you if you disable the collider, this will like disable all the interactions. I'll actually make it uh, bigger. So let's make it like ten. So what you can do is you can like uh, enable it. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll bounce everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can like you can like do impulse like you can essentially have it hidden and then just like enable it for a moment to like um, bounce people off. To, to force the character back. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So does it for the cool. does it for the uh, force fields? Yeah.